Welcome back you guys. Today I want to show you one of the most obnoxious ways that coating your screws with Quickset can fail you. So today we're going to be using Durabond 90 because that's one of the ones that I found this problem to be the most pronounced with. Really quickly let's get into the adhesion. So that is one little way that it can affect you. Most hot muds don't have quite as good adhesion as air drying muds. So air drying muds is just the pre-mixed stuff that you get in a bucket. So that's just a quick general rule. That's why I often add glue into my quick sets. That way when the hot mud sticks to the metal, well, it actually sticks to the metal of the screw. All right, so I got some of this Durabond 90 mixed up. Let's just coat, let's say four screws. Get them nice and full. Make sure that we don't have one of the little bubbles. All right, now I have to wait for this stuff to set so I can show you what happens and explain how it can be a problem. So it's been a few hours and try as I might to actually cause the problem, turns out when you do drywall and you try to make mistakes, it doesn't happen. These things tend to go wrong when you've been burning the midnight oil all week to try and get a job done and deliver it to your customers. And uh, that's usually when these things go wrong. But let me try to show you what happens. So what you need to know about Quickset is that it swells. And this is the only one that swelled a little bit, but I'm gonna scrape it down a little bit and what you're gonna see is a little flat spot. So this little flat spot right here that got shaved down used to be proud of the surface of the wall. So the last time I had this happen to me was on the nasty reno job. If you guys remember that one, what I did was I showed you guys how to tape with mesh tape. I used Durabond and on that job, I did my first coat on all the screws with Durabond. So after that stuff had set up, I took my six inch knife and I started scraping around on all the screws and I could see that every single one of them had swollen. And it's probably, you know, like half a millimeter. It's a really small amount, but when it comes to drywall and how flat it has to be to not show through paint and with uh, very discriminating lighting, it has to actually be 100% flat. Now, because I'm always doing jobs where I'm trying to speed it up, I'm always coating my screws with Quickset, but you need to know that it can swell and take the time to check and scrape it all down. So how this can become a worst case scenario, let's say you do a rather sizable job and you coat all the screws with Quickset. It swells in all the screws, leaving a grid pattern of slightly swollen little screw sized bumps all over your wall. And the worst case scenario is if you don't check and you don't know. So when you go back and you coat all of the screws with a regular all-purpose light mud, something that sands easily, you do your two more coats over top of the screws, you do your final sand, because nobody ever sands between coats on their screws. If you're having to sand your screws between coats, you're doing something wrong. But when you sand, you will end up sanding that nice soft mud off but the really hard quick set underneath won't sand off. So it might not even look very bad, but then it gets painted and then it gets a critical light shone across it and you can see where every single screw was because there is a tiny, tiny little screw sized bump. So that's the worst case scenario is that you can have a job full of tiny little screw sized lumps. Let me know in the comments if this has ever happened to you. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever noticed the little bit of swelling that happens on screws. I notice it almost every single time I use quick set to coat screws, but because I'm aware of it and my jobs are very small, I catch it, scrape them down, and it's not a problem. But it's unfortunate that I didn't get a really good opportunity to show how big of a problem it can actually be. Uh, you know, it only happens when you don't want it to. So I'm not saying don't coat screws with quick set. Again, I do it all the time, but when you coat screws with Quickset, be aware to check for the swelling issue. And if the swelling issue is present, you either have to scrape them all down with this, you know, whatever size knife, or that might be when you actually have to sand between coats on your screws. That will eliminate the problem. Uh, no reason you shouldn't be coating your screws with Quickset. I'm repeating myself, and if I'm repeating myself, that means the video's over. Just want to say thanks for watching you guys. I know it's been a little bit since I uploaded. Hopefully lots more coming. Uh, just trying to get the ball rolling again. Thanks for being here. I hope you're doing well. Till the next one.